All right, hey everybody, my name is Soren, and today I'm going to show you how to send Ethereum from one wallet to another wallet in just 19 lines of Python code. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to have to create an account on Infura. Infura.io is the website. And basically, what this allows you to do is have access to an Ethereum node, which is a requirement to talk to the Ethereum network. Alternatively, you could spin up a node on your own, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's going to be a little bit easier to just set up an Infura node. Um, what you're going to do is once you create an account, you're going to go to the dashboard, and you're going to click Ethereum here. And I have a project here that I've used in the past, but I'm going to make a new one. So create new project, and we're going to call it Send Ethereum. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is create a new Python REPL. Uh, Python, I'll make it private for now. And th the cool thing about this is it's actually pretty simple to do what we're going to do today. We only need two libraries. One of them is called Web3. Web3 is an open source Python library for interacting with the Ethereum network. It's made by the Ethereum Foundation. And the other one is just OS, which is a built-in Python library for getting secrets in our case. So we're going to use it to get secrets from the REPL environment variables tab. So I'm going to import those now. We're going to import web. And then, and then the other one is import OS. OK, so the first thing we have to do is set up our Infura node. So we're going to need to get our project ID, and that's in Infura, so we're going to go here, and we're going to get the HTTPS endpoint, so we can just copy this here, and then we're going to say um, W3, which is going to be our uh, Web3 object, equals Web3, and then Web3.HTTP provider, and then in here we're going to paste what we just grabbed from here, so this is our endpoint for this project. And we can test if it works by running w3.isConnected. And we can save that. And we'll run it, and we'll see if it works. OK, and you see it returned true. So that means um, that we are connected to the Ethereum node using Infura. So that's good. So we can remove that for now and then move on to the next step, which is going to be setting up the address that we're sending from and the address that we're sending to. So you can actually use any wallet that you'd like, um, as long as you own the private key to it. But for this tutorial, we're going to use MetaMask. MetaMask is a Chrome extension, and you can just install it. It's pretty easy, and it basically allows you to create um, a crypto wallet, put cryptocurrencies into it, and send it wherever you'd like. So we're going to need to get the um, public address. And we can copy that from account one right here. You see it's copied to clipboard. So we have the public address here. And then we're going to get um, friend address. And we can leave that blank for now. But this is where you want to put your friend's public address. And then you're also going to need to, um, oh, whoops, you're also going to need to store your private key. And this is where we'll use OS um, to get our private key. And I'm not going to set the private key in this video, but basically what you do is um, in your MetaMask, you're going to click on um, this right here. And then you're going to click account details. And then you'll be able to get your private key by doing or by clicking export private key. Um, and then you can put that right here in the secrets tab. And then you can gain access to it by using os.getemp private key. So something we have to do is we actually have to convert the string to a checksum address. Checksum is a way to verify that, we're not, that you're not losing any bytes when you send something. Uh, it, it's really important to do this because if you have corrupted memory, you don't want to accidentally send a bunch of money to a corrupted address because it'll be lost forever. So what we can do is we can say address one equals web three dot two checksum address, which is a method, and we can just put public address, and then address two, same thing, and 
and you'll put your friend's address in there. So now we have address one, which is our wallet, address two, which is the wallet that we want to send Ethereum, and then your private key, which you get from, um, from MetaMask. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the nonce, N-O-N-C-E. Um, in Ethereum, the nonce is the amount of transactions on account one. It's just, it's just a variable that you have to send along with every single transaction. And the way that we get that is we do w3.eth.gettransaction account. And then you can give it address one. And, and what this will do is this will tell you how many transactions are on your account. And we can actually test it. Print nonce. And let me comment this out since I haven't put my private key in just yet. So we can, we can test this here to see how many transactions are on my public MetaMask address. And two. So there, I have done two transactions on this MetaMask address, which sounds about right. I, I, don't, I haven't used it that many times. So that's good and looks like that's working. So now what we want to do is we actually want to set up the transaction. So um, we're going to say TX for transaction and then we're going to create a dictionary. We're going to say nonce. Not to value. So something that's important to note for the value, the value is the most important key in this transaction that we're setting up because this is actually how much we're going to send from account one to account two. Um, we're going to use a method on the W3 object called um, two-way. Way is one quintillionth of an ether. Um, it's the smallest denomination of ether, kind of like the smallest denomination of dollars is cents. You need a hundred cents to go to build one dollar. Um, way is the same thing. One way is equal to one quintillionth of an ether. Of an ether. So, and and for this case, we're going to send 0 0.001 ether, and we'll put in ether here. That's just how you do the conversion for this method. So it's converting 0 0.001 ether to way. That's all this method is doing. So the next key we'll need is gas. Gas is the transactional currency of ether. Um, if you want to send a transaction from wallet A to wallet B, you have to supply some gas because that's, that's how the miners get paid to basically operate the entire system. Um, so we can say this is our gas cap, so this is the most gas we're willing to spend. And this is normal, this is a normal number that everyone uses for transactions. And the, the gas price is how much we're actually going to pay. Um, and in this case, we, we also have to convert it to way here. Um, but a, a typical gas price is 40 guay, and guay is just another denomination of one ether. So we say w3.2way, and we'll say 40 gas, and we're converting from guay. So it's going to convert 40 guay, which is typical, um, to way. Um, and that is actually all we'll need for the transaction. So there's only two things we need to do now. We need to sign the transaction and send the transaction. And, and that's really easy with this library. So um, signed tx equals w3.eth dot account dot sign transaction and we just have to give it the tx and our private um, or private key basically our private key is authorizing this transaction without the private key the transaction wouldn't happen and then the last thing we have to do is send it. So we do w3.eth.send raw transaction. And then you pass those parameters signed tx.raw transaction. And we'll save the hash here. So this is the hash of the transaction. And once line 25 has been ran, it will send this transaction signed to the Ethereum node and it will process our transaction and then within five to 15 minutes on a really network heavy day, um, the money will be sent from wallet A to wallet B. So 
that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and you can always ask questions in the comments. Um, yeah, thanks.